Welcome to Simple Scotch Reviews. Here we have Johnny Walker Black Label. It's a 12 year old blend from in the Johnny Walker line. It's the step up from the uh, Red Label and the Core Range. It's 12 year old age statement, bottled at 40% ABV. Let's take a look. The nose of this whiskey, I get lots of caramel. Actually, is that caramel? I do get caramel, but actually I'd say more honey than caramel. Honey and caramel together. Actually, probably. Back to the original assessment, caramel. Um, caramel, malt, hint of smoke. That's about it. This is a sweet whiskey. So for me, the initial palate hits you with lots of caramel and honey at the same time. Explosion of caramel and honey. And then there's a wisp of smoke. That's pretty much it. It's not complex. It's just that caramel and honey hits you, then the wisp of smoke, then it's done. A lingering sweetness after. The smoke fades sooner than I'd think in the finish. Just a lingering sweetness. It's not at all complex, but I don't think that's a knock. It's a budget whiskey. It tastes good. I personally don't have an issue if a whiskey isn't complex, if the flavors that are there taste fine. I don't inherently say it must be complex. If I have a whiskey that tastes like a hundred different things I dislike, that does nothing for me. So I prefer to have a couple things that I like than a million I dislike, but that's just my personal preference. Um, I'm not saying this is an outstanding whiskey, but it's a good whiskey, has flavors that I like, nothing off-putting for me, which when I'm judging a budget whiskey, I'd say is the biggest part. No plastic, nothing off-putting like that. It's just simple, tastes good, can be found almost anywhere, so it's a safe bet at the bar, and I think a lot of people have it as just their go-to at a bar if that's all they have. Um, Price-wise, it's well-priced. Um, this one liter bottle cost me $19.99 when I got it. Um, you can get the small one, the 200 milliliter for like, I think it was like $17, but that's just because this one was on a sale and it was two different places I bought them. Um, but I've seen the one liter of Johnny Walker Black Label be in that 20 to $25 mark in several places. But again, local laws and all that market variance come into effect. So don't quote me on those prices. But I think that almost everywhere it's on the lower end of the price spectrum and I don't find anything off-putting about it. It's got good flavors, not a lot of them, but what's there is good, nothing off-putting, and it's pretty cheap, so I'd say it's a win. I would not be upset if that's all they have at the bar. Probably wouldn't just want Red Label at the bar, but if they have Black Label, then I'll go with that. I would definitely recommend trying if you haven't. It's a good step into a wisp of smoke if you've had nothing with smoke at all. Thanks for watching.